Hey, what's up, guys? Malt here, and uh, what are we doing? I think we're stuck here. I think I was like confused about something. Yeah, yeah, because I'm trying to get into the. Um, I'm trying to get into the prison area that I released the dude in, but I can't really do that because ooh, oh, this is where I came from. Yeah, because look, this ghost shows up, right? Wait, hello? Wasn't there a ghost that just like chased me down from the top? And that, and that made it so I couldn't like do anything? Did I open the wrong save file? I, I really hope not. Hold on one second. One second. No, I think it might have been the right save file. Wait, hold on. To forest. No, hold on. Wait, hold on. Facility 22-7. Oh, I think that was the wrong save file. Is there gonna be a guy chasing me now? Ooh. Shadow man in the corner. <clears throat> okay, so... No? Alright, let me try going around the other way again and see if... That ghost shows up again that kept uh, stopping my progress. What the... Did I... Did I break something? Uh, okay, so there definitely was a ghost that kept chasing me at the end of the last episode. And then I... Loaded a save file and he's gone. And I think that's not supposed to happen, but... I'm not about to complain about that, let's be real. Okay, so this was... I think this one was the one that had the guy standing in it. And I think that standing guy was the ghost. Oh, shiny. Coin. Am I supposed to jump into the hole in the floor? Is that what the game wants me to do? What is this? Highly active, awaiting further tests. Okay, well, he's free. I can't reach this one. Alright, so what about this? It's a giant hole in the floor. Are we just not going to talk about that? So what was the point of me coming... Opening these uh, this prison cell, I guess there was none, except for one coin. Right, that's the only thing I got. Right, a coin. This is where I was in prison, so I don't think there's anything here. Okay, uh, so all of that, all of that build up between episodes, and it was basically for nothing. A coin and a ghost that despawned after I loaded a save file. Uh, I feel like maybe I should mention that. <laughs> to somebody who's relevant, but we'll, we'll worry about that later. Okay. Oh, okay. So if that's not going to work, what other leads do I have? I know I'm supposed to go um, try to activate. Oh, did I activate the elevators? Where's the power place again? Is it this? I got to go find the, um, the, the power box again so I can try to adjust the power. Oh, I think that was upstairs. I think that's where it was. Okay, let me go upstairs and then I will see what I can do. Uh, oh, no, no, it's the other way. Up this way. Up the stairs. Past pretty flower room. Uh, that's over here. Yep. And then over here and then I got a sneak. Oh, this guy's here now. Okay. So he moved for some reason. Actually, was it opening the prison that made all these enemies show up? Or I guess it was. I guess that would make a lot of sense. Yeah, I'm still missing. Okay, yeah, so I'm still missing the wheel. I need to activate. Uh, what, what do I need to activate? The elevators. I want these elevators to work, but I think I'm missing a relevant fuse for that to work. So the best I can do is like... The best I can do... Okay, so water. I don't know what water is, but I have it enabled. Was there a manual for this? Oh. Correct trees must first be in place. Okay, yeah, so that doesn't help me because... Because I can't even open the thing. I can't even get this last... 
uh, slot. Right? I don't have that. I do have a bucket. That I could potentially use as a hat. Okay, uh, where would I take this bucket? What's over here again? This is just like the exit that's like sealed, right? This is where I found the bucket, actually. Uh, okay. Man, these guys are such a waste of time to pass. I don't get, I just get instantly killed if I move fast to ground them. It's great. I guess also if I walk into them. Get away from me, ghost man. Okay, so... I could put the bucket in the water. Would that help me with something? Oh yeah, this is this room too. Yeah, I don't know anything about that room still. Um, there's a lot of questions I have. Can I reach the water here? Let me see here. Nope, okay, I guess I gotta go to the stairwell. Uh, stairwell water... Path forward is flooded. We do we have to go this way? It's impossible. Does everyone expect us to swim? Hear me out. What if we took all this water and put it somewhere else? Do you have a screw loose? Look, I know it sounds crazy, and we need a, and we need a bucket. It's impossible. It will take a lot of trips. I can't believe I'm hearing this, but maybe we can lower the water level somehow. I tried using the bucket. Oh, are we doing my idea? No, but it might work. We might. We just have to pick up water from here and empty it somewhere. Let's repeat that a couple of times, or a lot of times, right? We just need, like, a bathtub or a sink or something. Eventually, the water level will be lower. This is ridiculous. I mean, he's not wrong. Technically, yes, that would work with enough time. Uh, what am I supposed to do with the bucket of water, though? I can't even think of, like, a single place I could have put that. What's over here? I can't fully remember everything. Oh, I think there's a guy in this hallway somewhere. Right? Wait, is this the room that... No, this is not the clock room. That was upstairs. What was this? Oh, the bathroom. I got this feeling that I'm going to be stuck here unnecessarily long. Oh, it's the chasing man. Oh, stop. Stop it. I mean, I kind of prefer the chasing man because... Because I can run instead of just having to walk so slowly. Uh, okay. Maybe it has something to do with this room again? Can I put the bucket of water somewhere? Is this a hole? What is that? Oh, I do have a copper key. You know what? I am forgetting that I have a copper key. I should probably use it on a locked door and see what happens. Uh, there are locked doors up here, right? Let's see. Actually, I'm remembering now where the valve is, too. It's behind that gate. But I have a feeling I can't get to that gate without activating the elevator. Am I thinking of things different, like wrong here? And this doesn't help me, right? Like, I'm wondering if this is just a weird, mysterious room. And is Sai with me in this room, or is, is it just me? Sai is in here with me, so he see, he can see this. Like, I don't know, do I patiently wait for this song to end? I don't think it- I mean, generally music boxes end once you wind them up. Alright, let me see. Let me try this for a little bit. Or is it looping forever? Is it a fake music box? Perpetual motion one. Oh, I am noticing there's things coming out of the ground now. That only started happening with the music? Oh, hold on. Oh, I just got an achievement for listening to it. You know what? I would have probably expected that. Alright, anyways, um... Does the key work here? No. 
Because the key wouldn't work on the gate that was in the prison cell. Wait, was this where the prison cell was? I don't remember this guy being here. They just keep respawning. I mean, they're just spawning in different places. This is the prison cell, though. Uh, so, yeah, the room coming up. Maybe I should look at it more carefully. Because, I don't know. I don't know. Because I know that's where the last thing is. Was it? It was always this bloody, right? That didn't change. Okay. Um, it's got to be something I'm forgetting. What is this? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Like, so there's where I have to be. For whatever reason, this didn't work last time. Yeah. So, there's a way down there that I can get there from. But, let me try to think. In that direction, where would that be? It's south of this room. So, south of this room, there's a way to get there. Is that guy still here? Yes. Yeah, so south. So, how do I get south of this room? South of this room is the water stairway, but the water stairway is probably the way out. Or is apparently the way out. This is like the southmost room. Yeah. Except for the upstairs. But the upstairs doesn't go here. Oh, I am so confused. Wait, how about this door? Oh, I already tried this door, right? I'm literally looking at the same door I just tried. Yeah, this door is already open. It's the clock room. I am stuck. Unless I really am just like doing the fuse box wrong. And my math sucks. That's also an option. So maybe... Maybe I should try that. And see what happens. Where's this guy? I know there's a guy standing here. There he is. How do I open this door? Alright, I guess we're fine. Alright, let me look at this one more time. Because apparently I'm stupid? Let's see. My best guess would be that you'd have to um, disable the lights for this to work because that would be spookiest. But um, I don't know if that's true. What is this again? And why do I keep it open? Oh, it's like, isn't this the main door? That had like the, the meeting room? All right, hold on. So water flow is going to be needed at some point, but I would like to take this elevator to get the valve. So this water flow is not relevant right now. So if I put number 40 here, this becomes 50. Could I make this negative 10? Wait, I could. Is this not how it works? You can't do a uh, 50 plus negative 10 to make... Oh, I know, that would make sense, but that's not what I want. How do I make 55? I don't know why I'm so blanked out about this. What is it? What am I not seeing here, guys? I need this to be five, but there's no such thing as a zero slot. You make it a ten? Wait, I could make it a ten. So fifteen minus five, and then I just changed. Oh no, no, because I just used the five to do that. Oh my goodness! Wait, I feel like I had something going on in my head. Oh boy, uh, 25 minus 15. All right, that makes a 10. So this becomes 60. Oh yeah, so then I can just have to change this to five, right? Okay, so it is possible. Do you think the elevator works now? And because, and now I can't, uh, yeah, I can't. There's no way for me to enable 
lights or anything. So I just, uh, yeah, I knew it. Maximum spook required. Now it's gonna be extra frustrating to walk around because I can't see. I don't know if he's gonna tr charge at me. Anyone gonna charge at me in the dark so I can start running or? How am I gonna access this elevator? The guy's chasing me. Oh. Yeah, so I gotta go to the downstairs one then because these guys are apparently gonna disable the elevator. It's not smart to do it while creatures are so close. I didn't even know there was a creature here, you crazy bat vision. Okay. I mean, they haven't put enemies out in this hallway yet, but I guess right now is a good time. Also, I should save. All right. So save. Because I think that was the first uh, bit of real progress we've had. <laughs> and I think the elevator was down here. Ooh, hi. What? I was walk. I was in walk mode. Oh, you can't go in front of them? This whole time I thought just being slow was good enough. All right, fine, fine. Wait, what the f are you st he's standing right there. Do I have to go around the long way? Is he set up on a perp on purpose so I have to go the long way? Or am I just, no, he's gonna hit me again, right? Okay. All right, uh, I guess I have to go the long way. They want me to see something the long way or to be the most maximum stressed out, I guess. So I'm gonna go do that. So I guess going behind them was actually the play this whole time, and I've just been doing it by accident. I don't want to be chased. They're going to chase me, right, at some point. But then I got to run in the dark, which would be really bad. They wouldn't make me run in the dark towards someone who will kill you if you run next to them. That would be silly game design. They wouldn't do that to me. Yeah, so far it seems like I'm right on that assumption, because I think if there was a chaser in here, they would have gotten me by now. Okay, yeah. Stupid, but whatever. Thanks for making me take the long way, nerds. Alright, finally something new. An elevator. Downstairs, please. Which, I don't know where we are. Okay, I'm guessing we're on B2. So let's try B3. Oh wait, the light. Obviously the light tells me which floor we're on. This thing is pretty slow, huh? What do you think we'll find down there? I don't know. A valve? Handle? I'd say it's not smart to go even deeper. But what do I know? It's not like we have a choice. And coming here in the first place wasn't, that, wasn't smart already, so... Thanks, man. Very helpful. Oh, it's not letting me sneak, so there's no enemies here. Heavy looking door. The other side seems flooded. Oh. Wait, what the hell? Mailbox is empty. Someone lives down here in a nice house? Why is there a house so deep underground? I don't know. You're the expert. Oh, maybe someone lives here. But there's even if there's an entrance to a house down here, maybe there's also an exit on the other side. Don't you think? Oh, no way to go but forward. So we gotta do the flood, uh, the flood draining is to get to that door we just saw. I'm guessing the bottom, bottom floor is probably where uh, I have to go for the valve. So I think I'm safe going in this direction first. I'm keeping my eye on. Oh, coat hanger. Oh, got good one. Okay. Vase with a single flower and sit on chairs. Oh boy, look at these. No signatures in the guest book. Oh good, this looks like a nice place. Okay. So look at all these guys. There's a pot, of, or is that a turkey head salad? Tentacle man? Butterfly face, one eyeball guy. Bloody face, literally a bunch of monstrosities. Hang on a sec. Over here. What? This place is strange. What tipped you off? The hallway folds creepy faces? Yeah? 
No. I mean, yes, but don't you... <laughs> don't you feel like this place is strangely cozy? It's almost like it's decorated with care. Now it's cozy. What are you doing? You could probably relax here for a while. Feels like a bad idea to relax in someone else's home. If we're quiet enough, they'll never know. Besides, aren't you tired? Yes, we deserve a break anyway. Let's have a Kit Kat in front of the fire. You're right that this place has a creepy but cute vibe to it. I like creepy but cute. Well, that's why I play games like this all the time if I can. The fireplace is cute. The fire is nice. That's a weird thing to say. Are you into burning things? What? No. I mean, uh, it just feels peaceful here. Why did you get so defensive about that? Yeah, I'm not very good at conversations. You're fine. So what's got you doing deadly rituals? Huh? Well, normally people who come here either have nothing to lose in their life anymore, or they're just plain dumb and reckless. Which one are you? Dumb, probably. Hmm. So what's your deal? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but I'll just annoy you until you do. Or until you ditch me. Does it make sense to ditch you yet? Yet? Alright. Alright? I suppose I can tell you, but it's gonna get long. I have nothing better to do. How should I put this? This is gonna be important. There's something very wrong with me, but it sounds ridiculous when I say it out loud. I'm all ears. It's possible that I may be possessed. No, I'm definitely either possessed or cursed. It's been like this since I was little. Back then I used to think I had a black- I, just, I used to think I have a black cloud that just follows me everywhere. It makes people run away from me. It makes them hate me. They always have this terrifying look when they look at me. Sometimes it turns to hatred or anger. With animals, it's even worse. Dogs will bark at me and I can't get close enough to pet a cat. Or today, I tried buying something at the store and failed horribly. I hate that I can't even do something as simple as that. It's like being around, just being around me makes people tense and aggressive. But I know for a fact it wasn't always like this. I have memories of my childhood where things were fine. Something must have changed at some point. And then everything, everyone starts to act, suddenly acting differently with me. I hope that's not like some lesson about puberty. <laughs> that would be quite the twist. For a really long time, I thought it was my fault. I thought maybe that one just broken and different. I thought I did something wrong and I thought people had a reason to hate me so much. I know better now, but that doesn't change how it feels. I wonder why her brother seems to be unaffected? Because obviously the mother was affected because she, she seems so like done with her too, even when I called her. Could the brother... Hear me out guys, hear me out. What if, what if the brother has some weird thing where he only wants he wants to be the only person who can get close to Lacey for whatever reason. He's the one who put the curse on, and he's he has he knows a lot more than everyone else does because he's the only one who who's still close. That would be a weird, interesting uh, development. This thing inside me, whatever it is, it's isolating me from everyone. Even my parents hate being around me. They leave the house for weeks at a time and make excuses if I ask to come along. My brother's the only one who's there for me every time. And I know how hard it is for him, but somehow he never falters. Without him, I... I've been trying to get better for so long. See, brother. Suspicious brother. So this ritual as well, it's my last hope. If I fail to find answers, I'll probably give up on everything. I can't bear to live like this anymore. Although this guy's talking to her too. I don't know what it is. There's gotta be something, because obviously it's not everybody that's affected. Still, you should know about this. You've been around me, don't you feel it? Huh? Let me see. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. You've got this weird ominous aura. Feels dangerous. It doesn't bother me. Okay, never mind. So there is something. Really? Nah, I guess I felt worse. That doesn't make any sense. There must be something wrong with you. Is this person not human? <laughs> says the possessed girl. Rune said the possessions aren't a thing, so it might be a curse. But you don't buy it? So what? You came here to get exercised? I've tried that already. I wouldn't have come here if I, unless I exhausted my possibilities beforehand. Smart. So no dice then? Nothing. That sucks. Have you tried throwing table salt at yourself? Hurt you here? Wards off demons. I might get rid of your curse too. Very funny. You seem to know quite a lot about this place and its rituals. Ah, yeah, I did a lot of these rituals to kill time. What? He's totally a demon dude, isn't he? 
I'm surprised you're not dead yet. You know what they say, idiots don't die. Because there was a hint about how some demons appear like humans. From Rune. So, uh... Definitely possible. I don't think anyone, anybody says that. Also, there were these people who were on the bus that looked relevant later. The one person that was like, wow, he, she actually got off the bus. So I feel like that's probably important, too. There's probably going to be more important characters. Maybe you could start saying it. Wait, did I skip? I probably did. What is, so is your curse the reason you're uh, trying to find the lighthouse? Yes, it's the... I was told there was someone there who could help guide me. You hear that? Yes. Guests? But not invited. I'm confused. Uh-oh. Fire? Fire? Make it stop. Hmm? The smell? Lilith? No. No, no. No, 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 no. Not you again. Oh, get out. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. What? Get out. <laughs> but uh, how are we going to get out if we're in cages now, dumbass? Oh, come. All right, more memories. Let's go. My right, memories are good, but they're usually very vague. Or maybe it's going to be crazy this time. Well, I'm really screwed now. Even if I wake up from here, what can I even do? Let's see, a monster has put me in a cage that'll probably eat me or something. And even so, I don't... It's not like I can stay here. This place is useless, so am I gonna be the queen of demons or something? Or being possessed by the strongest demon ever for some reason? Let's find the exit and see what happens. Okay. Uh, let's not go into the shadows. Because that was an interesting, but uh, one time... Oh, look, third door now. Third door it is. Ooh, wow, what wonderfully arranged, rotated desks. Uh-oh, more laughing people. What is that? Is that a lobster? No, that's a bird. Wait, did I kill a crow at some point? There she is. That's her. She so cursed the bird dropped dead. If she could make a bird die, I wonder what she could do to people. What a freak. Hey, you killed that poor bird. No. It flew into the window next to your seat. But, but I didn't. It died because of you. This is your fault. Yeah, am I gonna eat it? Hey, where do you think you're going? Why is this guy a question mark? But everyone else is bully. I'm gonna keep fighting. No? Alright. Alright, alright, I get it. I'm being bullied. They're gonna make me eat it because of the freaking fork and knife. This isn't my fault. Can't believe you're still acting innocent. You disgust me. You cause nothing but ruin everywhere you go. I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. I don't do it on purpose. I didn't do anything. Maybe you should do something, huh? To make it up to us, why don't you take responsibility for messing up everything? How? Hmm. Make her eat it. Yeah, eat the bird. What? You heard them. Eat it, witch. If you eat it, maybe we'll forgive you. They won't. They'll just think you're a weirdo. Eat the bird, murderer! I want to. Eat it, witch! Sorry, I can't let you pass, please. Just do what they say. Alright, here we go. This isn't real. Do I really have to do this? No! I don't want to eat nothing! Okay, I'm gonna eat the bird. <laughs> Wait, what? Take the... The knife. Stab self? No! Stab bully! Stab self or eat bird? Stab self sounds great! This dream, this easiest way to get out, is obvious, isn't it? I'm gonna actually die from this somehow. It hurts, it hurts! So it was real. What am I waking up? Let this stupid nightmare end. That was not a nightmare! <laughs> Why? It's just a dream, so why? It hurts. Achievement! That's not how you wake up in this game. Good. I'm an achievement hunter. You died. You know what? I think that's a very good way to end the episode. <laughs>
<laughs> we're gonna we're gonna eat the bird right on the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys. Sorry for the slow start when I was trying to get my bearings again, but um. We got it. We got the elevator. We're getting some progress. We'll see how much further we go. I don't know how much longer this game is. Do we even reach the lighthouse in chapter one? I hope so. But uh, Or maybe it's going to be like we're going to be right at the lighthouse and then something's going to happen. Either way, I'm having a great time with this game. I hope you guys have been too. If you've been watching up to this point, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go from there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a great day. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, Join my Discord server. Uh, subscribe to me if you haven't. Please do so. All my links are in the description below. And as always, I hope you guys all have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!